Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. What a joy and privilege it is to come and greet you, our dear friends of Faith Lutheran Church, on this glorious Easter sunrise morning as the women made their way to the tomb of Jesus very early that morning, they fully expected to find that the stone was blocking the entrance. They fully expected to see the dead body of their Lord lying in the grave. But when they arrived, oh, how things had changed. The stone, it was rolled away. The tomb, it was empty. And to their amazement, an angel from God was there and gave them the message, Do not be afraid. He is not here. He is arisen, just as he said. Throughout the ages, Christians on this very early Easter sunrise morn have followed with those women to the open tomb of their Lord and Savior Jesus that empty tomb, to again hear the message of those angels. Do not be afraid, for he is not here. He is risen, just as he said. What meaning is behind those words of the angel? Just as he said. Just as he first promised to Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. Just as the promises were repeated through the lives and ministry of God's representatives like Abraham and Isaac and Jacob. Just as he said, as the angels in the skies announced the birth and the fulfillment of God's promise, there in Bethlehem, the baby born to Mary and Joseph, the Savior of the world. Everything culminated in Jesus Christ being raised from the dead. Everything was pulled together on that very first Easter sunrise morning. The promise, the plan, and the fulfillment. Jesus' life, Jesus' death, and Jesus' resurrection all come together to be God's proof that our salvation is complete. The other day, I went to a local grocery store to buy a gallon of milk. I gave the clerk my $3, and she gave me back my change and my receipt. This simple meaningless piece of paper is so easily discarded. And yet, how important it is. Because it tells us the milk has been paid in full. It tells us that no more payment is required. It is the proof of purchase in case there is ever any doubt. On this glorious Easter Sunday morning, God gives to the world the proof of purchase, the empty tomb and the resurrected Lord. It tells us that there is no more payment required, that the debt of sin has been paid in full, and this is God's proof, proof of purchase, that we are his own. We are children of God, fully redeemed, our sin fully paid for. We turn now our attention to the Gospel's reading of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Early on the first day of the week, after the Sabbath was over, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene, Mary, the mother of James, Salome, Johanna, and least one other woman set out with spices to visit Jesus' tomb and anoint his body. On their way to the tomb, the women asked each other, Who will roll the stone away from the entrance of the tomb? While they were on their way to the tomb, there was a violent earthquake. 
For an angel of the Lord came down from heaven and, going to the tomb, rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning. His clothes were as white as snow. The guards were so afraid of him that they shook and became like dead men. When the women arrived, they saw that the stone, which was very large, had been rolled away from the entrance to the tomb. When they entered the tomb, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. While they were wondering about this, two men in clothes that gleamed like lightning stood beside them. The women were terrified and bowed down with their faces to the ground. An angel said to them, Why are you looking for the living among the dead? Do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus, the Nazarene, who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen, just as he said. Come, see the place where the Lord lay. Go quickly then and tell his disciples and Peter, He has risen from the dead. And look, he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. Then the angel continued to say to the women, Remember how he told you while he was still with you in Galilee that the Son of Man must be delivered over to the hands of sinful men, be crucified, and the third day rise again. Then the women remembered Jesus' words. Trembling and bewildered, the women hurried away from the tomb, afraid, yet filled with great joy. They ran and told the disciples. Suddenly, Jesus met them and said, Greetings! They approached, took hold of his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go, tell my brothers that they should go to Galilee, and there they will see me. Mary ran to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one Jesus loved. They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, she told them, and we don't know where they put him. But they did not believe the women, because their words seemed like nonsense to them. Peter and John, however, got up and ran to the tomb. The two were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and got to the tomb first. Bending over, John saw the linen cloths lying there, yet he did not go in. Then Simon Peter, who was following him, arrived and went into the tomb. He saw the linen cloths lying there. The cloth that had been on Jesus' head was lying with the linen cloths, but it was also folded up in a separate place by itself. Then Peter, who arrived at the tomb first, also entered. He saw and he believed. They still did not yet understand the scriptures that he must rise from the dead. So far, the resurrection of our Lord. At this time, I direct your attention to a visual presentation of the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. After the Sabbath, at dawn on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. There was a violent earthquake, for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven and, going to the tomb, rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothes were white as snow. The guards were so afraid of him that they shook and became like dead men. The angel said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen, just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples. He has risen from the dead and is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him. Now I have told you. So the women hurried away from the tomb, afraid yet filled with joy, and ran to tell his disciples.
Suddenly, Jesus met them. Greetings, he said. They came to him, clasped his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. We close our sunrise devotion with the thoughts from the hymn, I know that my Redeemer lives. I know that my Redeemer lives. What comfort this sweet sentence gives. He lives, he lives, who once was dead. He lives, my ever-living head. He lives triumphant from the grave. He lives eternally to save. He lives all glorious in the sky. He lives exalted there on high. He lives all glory to his name. He lives my Jesus still the same. Oh, the sweet joy this sentence gives. I know that my Redeemer lives. Amen. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia.